Hey, what up food fam? You know I'm a huge fan of barbecue, so today I'm gonna be making some awesome smoked baby back ribs. So feel free to stick around, and if you like it, smash that like button. I'm Matt, the Colorado Cook. Let's do it! Alright fam, today I'm working with two racks of baby back ribs. I took them out of the packages and rinsed them off in some cold water. Then I took some paper towels and patted them dry. Word of advice fam, you've got to remove the membrane off the ribs. When ribs cook, if you leave that membrane on, it can become pretty tough and it doesn't let smoke hit that side of the meat. Here you can watch me fumble around and take forever to remove it. All right, so now that that's done, I'm making a super simple coating to put on the ribs. I used a third cup of yellow mustard, a splash of Worcestershire sauce, and a quarter cup of apple juice. Then I gave it a mix until it was uniform in color. Then I sauced those racks up with a mustard coating and generously applied a barbecue rub. Any of your favorite pork rubs will work for this. Make sure you get all the edges of the ribs too, fam. Add my Traeger set to smoke mode, which is around 150 to 170 degrees. And then I set the ribs on the pit. left them in there for three hours to smoke. Then I pulled those smoke beauties off and brought them inside. They were already looking fantastic. They were a beautiful mahogany red and they smelled incredible. It was time to take it to the next level. I started with adding some honey on top of the ribs, followed by some dark brown sugar. Finish it off with a cup and a half of apple juice down below the ribs in the aluminum tray. I put some aluminum over the tray and then I set the Traeger to 225 degrees. Once it hit 225, I put the tray in the Traeger and waited for two hours. After those two hours were complete, I pulled them out. I opened them up and it smelled like, oh my god, I was in a barbecue restaurant. These things just smelled amazing, super smoky and meaty. I moved them out of the aluminum tray so you guys could get a better view. But fam, we're not done yet. It was time to sauce them up again where I used my favorite barbecue sauce. Then it was back on the grill for another 30 minutes at 225 degrees. After that, I pulled them off the grill and brought them inside. After three hours smoking, two hours braising, and half an hour tightening up, they were done. Let's check out the results and see if the hard work was worth it. As you guys can see, they got a beautiful pink smoke ring around them, and they're extremely juicy. Fam, when I bit into them, the flavor was magical. They had a delicious meaty pork taste that was extremely smoky and full of flavor. It tasted like professional barbecue that you'd pay top dollar for. And there you have it, super easy smoked baby back ribs that turned out fantastic. Thanks so much for watching, you guys are my food fam. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. I have tons more cooking related content on the way. I'm the Colorado Cook. See ya.